Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Atlanta Braves. So watch how you step to me, cause I've been schooled by the street. No one's testing me. I keep the peace within reach. God bless the peace. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Is what I do best. It will behoove you to back up two steps. You got a crew with you, I'll come at your crew. Just about set. And today on the hill, Chris Sale. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And there's a foul ball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. That's to third. Gets it to first. Out. One up, one down. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Henry Davis. And you got to like this matchup for him as a guy who hits left-handed pitchers as well as anyone, it seems. I mean, he's hitting over 300 against Southpaws this season. He's got a good shot to make a big impact against the left-hander on the hill today. One down, base is empty. Fouled off left side. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Puts it away for the out. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Two outs, base is empty. Brian Reynolds here. And a foul ball. Sale, more than 100 career wins on the mound, a former first-round pick back in 2010. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first, out. and they take care of Reynolds for the out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, and now the Braves with their first chance to hit were scoreless. You're watching Pirates Baseball on the show Pittsburgh. Back at Truist Park. And towing the slab here, Paul Steens. Well, Boog, something of interest to me is that this guy's really struggled when working out of the stretch, pitching with runners in scoring position. So the key for him is to attack hitters, try to get ahead in the count, and limit allowing runners on base. And if he can do that, I think that will help him to avoid those situations. Now, at some point, he's going to have to deal with them. And I think it's just one of those mental things that he's going to have to overcome. The pitch. Off the mark there, and that's ball one. Gets a piece, and it stays alive. The pitch. On the ground, and it goes just foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Swings and misses, struck him out. 
Well, that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. That misses the zone. Now 2 0. There's a strike. And Three another one. ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just Walmart. having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Look out, almost got him upstairs. Straighten him up a little bit. That All one three. misses. Now three and one. Three ball. one Two strike. outs, bases empty. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Matt Olson stands in now, looks at that one inside. Swing and a miss. Bringing the one cheese ball, on that one. Strike. Two outs. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. A big swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. One left for Atlanta. We played an inning. No score. Set for the start of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh. O'Neill Cruz. Sale back to work. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Connor Joe. Move okay. over to first, trying to keep him close. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ah. And there's the strike. This might be a steal situation, but that's Let's not go. your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Pitch. Ball on there. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Michael A. Taylor digs in now. Michael A. Taylor. Fall off foul. Cruz leads off first with one away. Step off throw to first. And he's back safely. And a pitch. One and it's more. even up. The 
the pitch. Swings and misses. One, One and two. Ball. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Strike him out looking with the off-speed stuff. No, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Digging in, Andy Rodriguez. The pitch. One that misses one. the zone. And that is ball one. Second inning here, no score. And misses, it's a strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. So one left for Pittsburgh. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now here is Austin Riley. Third base why to kick the pitch? Yeah. Well, he oh, used to be a pitcher back in the day, Boog. In fact, fans used to give him a hard time in his rookie ball days because he started the season with a long slump. He'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching, but it turns out he made the right choice. Next offering is down low. Right through there for a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And that one is lifted in the air. McCutcheon after it. Hauls it in for the out. That is good. The left field. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Oh, That one's in there. Strike one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one on this one. And strike two. One out, base is empty. Liner, base hit. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone the down the middle, and those are the Aldi. ones where you got to make them pay. Aldi. Ozzy Aldi's up to the plate. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the oh. roll going here in this one. Kicks and fires. Good chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a runner on the goal. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Adam Duvall at the plate now. That's ball one. Late on that fastball. Do that fastball one right strike. by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. One, the one two. In the air, left field down the line, and that'll fall for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So here's Murphy now. The catcher. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Runner around third on his way to the plate. 
plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Foul ball there. Two on, two outs. And now it's even up. And another ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two two now. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Bases full, two gone. Stepping in, Orlando Arcia. That one is absolutely belted. Base hit, one run is in. Now the second run is in. And they clear the bases. Three runs score, and it's 4 nothing. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over. Just kept the swing on plane and smuck that thing into the ground. So, runner at second, two down. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. That one at the knees for a strike. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. The run comes in from second, and the lead is up to five. And he's got a double. And for him, that's two solid weeks with a hit in every game. I mean, he's run his hitting streak to 14, and let me tell you, that's no easy task. This guy's grinding. In out. plenty of time to first, and Olsen is set down. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Braves five and the Pirates. And we're back onto the third inning. The and here's the catcher, Henry, Henry Davis. David. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ah! On the inside corner for a strike. With Chris Sale on the mound today for Atlanta, I was thinking a bit about his career and his expectations here with the Braves. I think the biggest change for him is the fact that he won't be required to carry the entire pitching staff. This team will be able to survive if he has one of those tough stretches. The wind and the pitch. You know, Boog oh, still carried the load in Chicago and Boston when he pitched for the White Sox and Red Sox, but this staff in Atlanta is on a different level. He's even joked that he could pitch horrible and people won't even notice. Oh, and a great stop. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Stuck out. The yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Now it's the second baseman. And first offering is fouled off. Sale delivers. Three. And a swing and a miss there. I oh, think he was two. sitting off speed there. Oh. Swings and misses. Two away. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. So the lineup flips over. Now batting key Brian Hayes. And yeah. that drops in for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. The Braves leading by five here in the second game of the series. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. It's five nothing. And welcome.
them back to the ballpark. And now here is Austin Riley. Riley is one of those players that made his presence known in the majors right away. He hit a 438-foot home run off of Michael Walker fastball in his second at bat, which is probably the best way to make a first impression as a rookie, boo. The pitch timer expired before he started his windup, so that's a ball. That must be incredibly frustrating for the pitcher, but this is all about creating more action and speeding up the game, and it's working. In the air, foul off first. Rodriguez now makes the catch, and there's one away. Marcelo Zuna now at the plate. Singleton scored his first time. That's Slider misses outside. Go Chris through the early one stages. Out. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get uh. some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And there's a ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Onto the warning track, and he hauls it in. Now back, second baseman, Avi. That's a really nice oh, job right there. Great awareness, making the catch up against the wall. You see the perfect technique, feeling for the wall with the bare hand while keeping his eyes on the baseball as it's coming down, his glove in a good position to make the catch. That's exactly how you do it. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Ball Inside, two. just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Pitch is in the dirt. Ball three. Fastball for a strike. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that cow, that's the pitch you want. Ah! That's in there. Three and two now. Oh, yeah. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. All over that one right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. Stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off the team. So, man aboard. Next is the designated hitter, Adam Duvall. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. He swings and fouls one off. Going two now. And that one gets past the catcher. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Right into the plate. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. Braves strand one, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here in Atlanta, new inning getting started. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. The wind of the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. you got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. Got him swinging. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Swing and a ball popped up under it. They got it for out number two. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Now batter, the shortstop, O'Neal. Two Ooh. outs, base is empty. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, O'Neal Cruz reached on an infield single his first time. 
ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Cruz goes six feet, seven inches, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That Whoa. misses, and that's ball two. And he deals. Ground ball right side. Olsen handles the chance. That's he enough. steps on the bag. And the Pirates go one, two, three. Bucks go down quietly. Still looking at that five-nothing deficit. Back at Truist Park, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Sean Murphy. Murphy. And the right-hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. You know, these Braves doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very oh, patient at bats out of them. Not only have they already put up a bunch of runs on the board, but they've also made the starter work really hard out there. Bounced out to short. Cruz out of first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Like I said, his pitch count is high, so I gotta expect they'll be turning to their bullpen sooner than they had hoped. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. And first offering is fouled off. Bases empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. Wouldn't chase that time. No. Just missed. Really good Ball take, down. especially with two strikes. Number two. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball no and didn't see it out of the hand no and just left the ball oh on his God. shoulder. That was a changeup right Mark over the up. plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Arcia yep. in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next ball, pitch is no. going to be. That one's upstairs, ball one. And it's one and two. And another ball. Not okay. close with that one. Full count three and two. Two down, nobody on. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap ball. will produce a two out oh, RBI, no. and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Bailey Falter gets the call from the pen. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's That's tough out. to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And now the lefty. And that's in the dirt. Arcia, the runner at first with two gone. And that's a little high. And the pitch. This one popped up. Rodriguez brings it in for the third out. One left for Atlanta as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Out, 
And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the DH, Connor Joe. Connor Joe. Sale back to work. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. You know, these Pirates just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Murphy makes the grab one down. The center fielder and now the 12. center fielder Michael, Michael A. Taylor. A. Taylor swing and that ball smashed on a line two down now batter the first baseman two Andy outs base is empty Rodriguez. and here's the first baseman Andy Rodriguez inside just missed Swings through that one for strike one. One one. Two. Late with the swing there. Now this offense one has ball. just been locked Two. down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Bounce to the left side. And it's a one, two, three inning. Out. And we're back. We Bottom of the Four inning. Matt Olson up to the plate. The first base. As the lefty gets to work. Olson, Olson oh, coming no. off an amazing 2023 campaign. Prodigious power numbers. And he cut his strike out yeah. rate. Next offering is in for a strike. Into center. Drifts towards it. Corrals it. Then there's one down. Now batting. The third baseman. Here's Austin yeah. Riley. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning, number five. And that one hit to first, and he handles it himself for the out. The left fielder, number 20. First down. Oh, Stepping in the long ball threat, Marcelo Zuna. One for two. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. That Zero. misses the zone, and the count is two and oh. That one down the line, and foul ball. Two outs. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Hayes, long run on his horse. Can't get there. This one lands foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit hard. That gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And here it comes. And that's outside, and it's a ball to strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One, two. One and two here. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Ozuna off the of first with two away. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Struck him out looking.
set for the top of the sixth. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. The pitch. That one missed. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. That's in there. Strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent ball. slider, but they've not been able to commit ball. to one, one velocity run. and stay there. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Upstairs. to finish him off. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because he was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Number 19 Four. in the box now. No balls and a strike. The Braves leading by five. And we're the top half of the sixth. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. No ball. Two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Left field. Ozuna pulls that one down, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Hayes now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Slice to right. This looks like extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Throw in is offline, so he'll get in there with a two-out double. He really now shot bad. that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. So two down. Now the number two hitter, Andrew McCutcheon. Swings and misses. That's no strike ball. one. One strike. Runner at second, two down. And a foul ball. One, two. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Foul ball still a one and two count. It misses. It's a strikeout. Back here in Atlanta, Adam Duvall at the play. The line of the pitch. And ball one. Just That's missed. The, 
the 2-1. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. He goes down looking. That right there will drive you crazy as a hitter. That pitch has no business being called a strike. It's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count, let alone a two-strike count. So the umpire right there, he's just rewarding a bad pitch. Here's Sean Murphy. First pitch just misses. No, just that's missed. Down. Got it started a little too early. Two Strike one. one. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the now other way. Ball. But that time, a little anxious. So the batting order turns over at the play. Michael Harris. That one drifts inside. 1 0. Oh, Up and dude. in, and now 2 0. Two down, nobody on. That one the other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Here's the left fielder, Brian Reynolds. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. And that one fouled off. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. And sale deals. Strike two. Another 0-2 count okay. right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Oh. That missed inside. Now one and two. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. On the ground. Albies over He's to out. first in time. Yeah, the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now, now, now. Good fade and the sinking action of that changeup. Oh, Got that hitter to roll over. Ooh. Here's O'Neill Cruz. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. And first offering is fouled off. The Braves leading by five here at the top half of inning number seven. That oh. misses the zone, and that's ball one. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. One down, base is empty. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And next is the designated hitter, Connor Joe. Connor Joe. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center and makes the play, and that's out number three.
back at Truist Park. Here's Orlando Arcia. The pitch. Orlando. That one's in there. Going wide. Foul ball. The pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Got him. And one away. Probably well, throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's got a hole in You think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Here's Acuna now. First pitch, and he just misses. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. 1-1 one, one now. And it's fouled away. The lefty fires. Close one doesn't get the call. It's 2-2. Two and two. single into a double but unfortunately thrown out at second base he was so close to being in scoring position here's Matt Olson over three a fly out of ground out the strikeout smoke to right center and this one's gonna go out of here Second homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's six nothing, and that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around real quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. Ball. And that one upstairs. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Ozuna in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And now we'll get a mound visit from the pitching coach. Probably trying to give a little more time for that arm out the bullpen to get warmed up. The Braves up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seventh. In there at the knees for a strike. One more. And the slider just misses. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. McCutcheon going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show.
And we're back. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Sale back to work. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Sale makes the grab, and there's one down. Now bat, the first base. Yeah, the batter Andy. down, Andy Rodriguez. Rodriguez. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw on to Olsen. And a couple of quick outs. Up next. Up next. Two outs, the base is out. empty. Henry. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Out towards left center. Harris sizes this one up. Makes the catch in and over. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dowry Moretta. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Albies stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. That's a little bit low. And the righty deals. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's two and one. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Skips in the dirt. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Righty delivers. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself now, after an at bat like that one. Now it's the DH, Adam Duvall. Line drop, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. Murphy, no, the, the next to hit, takes ball one. And ball misses two. inside. A two-seam fastball is usually no coupled with a slider away, and when a hitter's no. conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away, no and that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Ha. There's the strike. Duvall stands at first with one out. In the air, out towards left center, settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. Next to hit, Michael Harris. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Ah. Sets him down looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, number 19. 
A wide to kick the pitch. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Here's the third baseman. Key Brian Hayes. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Ripped on a line. Tracks it down for the out. Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. McCutcheon, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Ball one there. One ball, one strike. Man at second. Dude. Jack Swing went around. It's a ball and two one strikes. Ball, two strikes. Sail ready. Fights that one away, still one and two. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. At the belt and fires. And two, another two. ball. This one in the air. So they're down to their final out. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. That one lifted to left. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Just a matter of inches from picking up an RBI base hit and maybe a double in the process. That was barely foul. And that one sliced foul. Sale is just one strike away oh. and delivers outside. Popped up, settles under this one. He's got it. Ball game, and the Braves take this one in a blow. It has become increasingly difficult to blow a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.